and welcome back to another episode of the Double J Talk Show. I am Jazzy J. And it's your boy Jill out here, right back at you. And we are back. We're finally back from our two-week break because we were, um, we had a lot of finals and Jared had a lot of work to do, so we thought it'd be best to take a little, uh, siesta. We took a little bit of time off, but now we're back better than ever, ready to go, ready to keep those episode of week things out. I have a cap that's backwards. I don't have a cap that's backwards, but I have glasses. <laughs> yes, glasses. All right, so uh, what's what's new? Well, college is over for me. College is finally over for both of us because exams were finished, finished out very good with a G- with a good GPA. Yep. Hopefully, uh, all of you watching has a good uh, good GPA. Exactly. College is done for the year. We made it through first year of college. It was COVID college, but it counts. Yeah. Except for all the people who cheated in med- medical school. <laughs> oh, boy. That, that'd be really bad. Our, our fu- <laughs> Let me just leave that's it at this. Really our bad. future is screwed. Yeah, because there's a lot of people that are cheating. On I, I, especially on like, schools. I, I ever see those TikToks where it's like the engineering school oh, uses online stuff. <laughs> Ten years later, building, yeah. building collapse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you seen that? Um, or uh, the, you know, not the, not the, not the, there was a building that collapsed. Because uh, it was poorly structured. I don't remember which one. I, I don't know what I don't remember like where it is or what it is, but I remember reading about something that collapsed because of poor, poor stuff, poor foundation. All good. Yeah. All good. Well, not good that the building. Oh, not good. But, you know, <laughs> not good for the people below too. Not good for the people below either. But you know, school, school. Next semester, they're expecting you to bring everyone back in person, so we'll be back in normal school land, baby. I really hope so, because I really can't uh, do online school. I'm, I'm more lazier than ever. Hey, I know people that literally love the online school thing. Uh, like, working better for them, or is it just like... No, just they just like it. Okay. They don't, want, well, they don't like coming in. You, you save on gas money, and you're near your family. Yes. Although that could be a bad thing. <laughs> as well. Sometimes, yeah. Because, uh... I didn't think it was that bad. I I mean I like my family so <laughs> I know I like I, I my family too so I'm like okay whatever. If they need something I'm I'm right there. And um exactly I liked it better I, and I saved money on room and board this semester. Yeah. I get rent for free so you, you get free <laughs> especially. Yeah. yeah. But I got my room and board back this semester which is very good. Yeah. How was how how is it different from living with roommates than with your family? Like how different uh, is it? Roommates are more like friends, so it's like you and me if you and me live together. Okay. Like in a house somewhere, you know, you, you kind of have, there's kind of some set boundaries and stuff where your family, you can be a little more relaxed, I guess. You don't have to be, uh... Yeah, because you've been living with them for like 18 years. You've been living with them for a while. Yeah, exactly. So you kinda, up to. You can kind of relax a little bit, with, but with friends, you kind of have to have boundaries, and with a roommate, you kind of have to, you know, set schedules and kind of adjust to other people's life, where with yeah. your family, you've kind of adjusted to their lifestyle, because yeah. it's just your family's lifestyle. Exactly. But, All you know, right. I'm excited to be back on campus next semester. I do have a roommate next semester, by the way. Oh, yeah? One of my, one of my friends, Cameron, yeah, we're, Let's we're, go. we're rooming in a suite, get this, with our own bathroom. With your own bathroom. We have our own bathroom. The sweet life of Jared and Cameron. It's it's gonna be fun. It is gonna be fun. That's a that's a, that's a new TV show coming out. Disney, the sweet life of uh, yeah. Jared and Cameron. Yeah, that's my secret project I've been working on. I I I, I signed a <laughs> Disney Channel TV show, so I've been going back and forth to California. Uh, move over, Zach and Cody. It's now Jared and Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a Disney show, what would it be called? Just uh, just out of curiosity. I'm I'm, I'm actually oh curious. I I don't know what it'd be called. Just like. Uh, I mean, it could be kind of, like, based off, like, Boy Meets World, almost. Basically? Yeah, because, uh, you Oh, know. didn't they do something like that? It was, like, called, like, what, Girl Meets World? I yeah, that, that's a spinoff of the original yeah. Boys Meets World. Yeah, and then, World. and then, which we call it, was the dad. Uh, the, the, Corey. Corey well, was the dad, or whoever was the The actor is, uh, Ben Savage. Ben Savage was the dad. Yeah. And then his, uh, wife, uh, Topanga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. honestly, my, my, my Disney show would be based off, uh, based, uh... Uh, would be Boy Meets World, because, um, you know, just discovering new things, making mistakes in life, friends. Yeah, that's probably about, that's probably about mine. Mine, mine would probably be Boy Meets World, other than the, other than the sweet life of Zack and Cody thing. <laughs> I do, I do have a twin brother, so we could do, do that. You we could, don't, could do that. But we don't go to the same school, and we don't go to school on a cruise ship. 
but that's sweet life twin, on Twitter. twin brothers but the twin thing that's where it counts i have so many friends that, that have twins i know <laughs> you, me and my brother evan marcus and marcus john. john i know a pair uh twins and uh in high school named adam and henry you just know a lot of twins i just know a lot of twins <laughs> it's funny it is very funny uh, let's see um now that school's over what are you doing now that you know school's out well uh we're about to go to a camping trip we do have a camping June. trip coming up we're gonna do a podcast in the woods that's right we're gonna one of these episodes is gonna be in the woods uh well it's gonna be like double j podcast uh uh versus the wild double j <laughs> yep double j talk show versus the wild we get balled by a bear question mark hopefully not hopefully not we're Gone actually wrong. in a we're actually in a cabin so yeah well cabin what do you mean cabin cabin is it not a cabin or is okay so it's a shelter it's called it's basically a cabin okay without furniture it has bunk beds it doesn't have couches or okay air conditioning or anything like that so basically just a four walls and a roof uh, four walls and a roof with bunk beds and a bathroom okay oh and there's no electricity Okay, so, yeah, four walls and a roof. Basically. That's, I think we're going to do, like, a lot of uh But, I, but when I did the cabin, like, the shelter versus the cabin, the shelter, all it had electricity, and it had a kitchen, and it had a living room. Well, the okay. shelter still has a living room, I guess. Yeah, it still has a living room. Okay. I thought it was, but, just, like, I thought it was just, like, a just a room with... No, it still room. has a living room. Okay. It has, like, a area like a front area with like where you could sit set up a table and okay oh okay that's good i thought it was and, just i thought and it was then just like room behind with... the wall is the bed it's the bunk beds okay and then uh i think uh we're gonna bring some um some footballs we'll have generators too yeah gen oh generators uh we'll have um some footballs some board games maybe bring a tv bring a tv i maybe. could i could we could i think uh i think some of us will want to bring our switches i do not have a switch i'll, though. I'll bring a switch yeah, you'll, you'll bring the Switch, um... Maybe I'll bring a TV and I'll bring I'll it. bring a guitar. You know, get that... Oh, and we get to cook. Oh, we get to cook. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, grilling and chilling. Well, we're basically doing grilled food. Like, what are, we, what are we gonna cook, though? I don't know. We could cook, like, tacos or... We could do tacos. Tacos in a bag, uh... Spaghetti, burgers, hot dogs. Things like that, yeah. Typical canned food. Yeah, <laughs> things like that. And then, on Sunday, we go to Dorney. Yes. I'm excited for that. That'll be fun. That whole weekend, I, I, I'm i very looking forward to that. It's going to be a nice getaway from all this uh, craziness that we call COVID. I know. I know, it's crazy because two weeks from now, I go to Dis I go to Disney World for my sister's Sweet 16. So I'll be in Disney for that week. Okay. Then I have a few days where I'm going to work. And then, then we're going to our camping thing. Nice. You work hard, then play hard. I know, I play... I take a week off and I play very hard. And then I work, work pretty hard and then I play hard again. <laughs> I play hard, even when I'm supposed to work hard. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, 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 I work hard on my job. Because I, um, that deli job is, I, I really love the deli job. All my coworkers are very nice, and they're very supportive and patient with me. That's good. Yeah, you need to have a job. If you're going to have a job, you need to have somewhere where your coworkers respect you, and yeah. everyone's nice, and, you know, you don't want it to be a negative experience. Yeah. I, I had a coworker who was a very, uh, well, I was very lucky to, uh, have taken uh, under his wing, which was nice to get that like one-on-one -on -one training because it, it's nice to get that one-on-one -on -one training so you, you learn better at the job. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure I'm pretty sure you have some training at your I job. I do have training. Yeah. So, you know, it's not it's nice when you have some people. You know, it's nice when you have good coworkers. Yeah. Because because they'll help you and you help them, they help you. It's you know it's yeah. a very learn. It's a there's good communicate. You know how they you work. Have good communication. communication. Things like that. That, yeah. That's what I like about my job. Yeah. All I have to do is just slice mean cheeses and know how to identify the uh, different meats and cheeses. I know. I have to do all this technical know-how yeah. stuff. Yeah. He's the, he's the tech guy. I know. That's basically my job. <laughs> if you need a tech, if you got a tech problem, go to him. This is not a sponsor. I do a lot of tech stuff, yes. <laughs> and speaking of sponsors, if you don't want to hear the uh, Anchor.fm sponsor that I did in the beginning of the video, that could be you instead. If you... Sh if, uh, Send us a message or... Double J, po Double J Podcast at Outlook.com or send us a message on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. 
Because that could be you instead of the anchor. Exactly. So let us know if you're interested. It'll also be posted on YouTube. Mm hmm. So you'll be all over the place. So if exactly. you're interested, let us know. Okay. Back to it. Back to it. Uh, let's see. What else have we got going on? I think it'll be. F I think Dorney will be fun. It's yeah. I think they didn't even operate last season. They did not because of all the COVID stuff. But now since now uh, are. yeah, because wait, what last now year? They're... No, now they're operating. Yeah, now they're operating. Last year they didn't operate because because how how new COVID was. Yeah, that was crazy last year. Last summer was a no, last summer was a wash. I think. Yeah. Well, I was working most of the summer, so I really didn't notice. That I was much. just I was just kind of wasting my life away on video games and just thought, yeah, exactly. Everyone was yeah. playing video games and doing stuff that's about it maybe some of them are some doing summer classes exactly <laughs> maybe maybe i should do summer classes because uh, it'll help you like uh it'll help you it'll help ease your load during the school year yeah i might take a few not this summer but maybe next summer i might take a yeah few. me too when i'm, when I'm on because next summer i'll probably stay on campus over the summer because if, if you do a summer class you know for rvcc's sake it's a different story than like yeah. if you're at a residential college where you actually have to go live on campus for yeah. a little bit so there's actually uh don uh he's he goes to uh, rit and he's taking summer cl classes at rbcc because they're cheaper and it's the same thing yeah i might i might do that it's just some of the cl cl classes i gotta kind of make sure the credits transfer. yeah that's that's what we had a concern with but he made sure the credits would transfer yeah and it's that's the same thing and uh, i think he's doing linear algebra that's a tough one you know, I actually might consider doing that this well, summer. Well, linear, linear algebra? Mm hmm The requirement for, uh... Requirement it's for, a requirement uh, for my school, but I gotta see if they'd let me do it. Yeah. I know you, need, you need, like, Calc 2 to do the class. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not very good with, uh... uh math. Math. Well, I mean, I'm going to counting, but it's not, a, it's not algebra and calculus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My, comp sci is a lot of algebra how, and calculus. How would you use calculus in comp sci? Uh, I want to say in, like, notations and, like, big O notations and okay things like that, you'll use it, but, and, like, writing formulas and stuff, too, because you remember a lot of the, a lot of computer programming is, it's, uh, formulas, is right? formulas, yeah. yeah. I see those lines of code that Don writes in the, in the Discord chat, and it's like, oh my god, I can't understand a goddamn thing. <laughs> you want me to pull up my final project and see if you can understand yeah, a lot of it? no, I'm not going to, but I would like to see it. You know, you can actually show the viewers. I could, I very much yeah. could. But uh, it's on that computer that we're recording on, so I can't yeah. really do that right now. But I will show you, and then I'll see if you can understand quite a bit of it. Yeah. Spoiler alert! I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, actually, I tried uh, doing intro to intro to programming my freshman year at, at high school. How'd that go? Don had to bail me out half the time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Know, I it was. I couldn't understand it. So it's it's like it some was... people. Some people like some people get it, and some people don't. Have you worked with a uh, True Basic? No, I don't think I have. Okay, so the program that was, that was in, that was that we had to do in intro to programming was True Basic. That's like your stepping stone to to all the other Python, programs. yeah, Java. It's what what I remember starting out with is my first program in class we did, we started with Scratch. You know what? You remember what Scratch is? Maybe. Like it's the building block program. Oh, the the drag and drop. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, I remember that. Yeah, that we did. We started with Scratch. Then we did Java. We went to Java. Then actually, I did a full year class for Java AP Comp Sci, and I did a Python class. So that's a lot of classes. Yep. And then the my first year of college, we did Python, followed by Java last semester, and next semester I'll be doing C plus plus, and then the following semester it'll be Ruby. Okay. What uh, what what specialty are you going to go to again for computers? Uh, information te technology information. and okay. system management. Okay. So got to make sure uh, those uh, workers are working. And not going on YouTube, that's, right? Firewalls. That's not really okay. I I wouldn't. I don't want to be the type of person that would have to put firewalls up and block everything for everyone. Because <laughs> then you're then you all of a sudden become the most hated person in the building. <laughs> yeah, you're just like known as like the the IT guy, the guy that blocks everything. Yeah. Uh, but but in reality, like you know, your boss says you have to block this, but you block, yeah. and you're the one that blocks it, and then all of a sudden they say, oh. You were the one that blocked this site yeah. from me. That's like every. That's like almost every job because everyone blames you for doing your you, job. You like it's the it, pointing fingers game. Yeah, basically. Oh, you did this, but 
but he told me to, but I was told, but you told me to, but then your boss is like, oh, but you, sir, I was told by my boss to do this, I'm just trying to do my job, I'm trying to put food on the table, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a living here, I'm trying to, you know, do what I can to survive. I wish I can do this, but I can't. Exactly. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I, I get those a lot, actually, about the deli job, where I'm trying to, like, where they ask me for something, and I don't have it, and they say, are you sure you don't have it? Yes, I'm sure I don't have it. Could you check the back? I checked the back. We don't have it. Are you Are you sure you don't have it? <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't it isn't it the deli like now you're just punching your order into the kiosk? Yeah, it's and just then it pops now, up and you just fill it. Yeah, it's it. a lot easier now. Where instead just, of it, instead of people just coming up and yelling at you at yeah. the counter. Yeah, well, sometimes they forget that there's a kiosk there, but it's fine. It works. We we changed we changed systems a while back because of COVID, but and then. Uh, and then you got, like, those people who are really picky about how they want their meats and cheeses presented. Oh, yeah. You get some very picky people. Like, what's the difference between, sh like, shingles and layered and just stacking? Like, it's gonna go, it's gonna go in the same place. It's all gonna go in the same place, but some, some, pe some people, it's presentation. Yeah. You know, people, like, they pay for presentation. Yeah, but the cheese tastes the same, but hey, it does. What, what's the difference if it's stacked up or laid like a bunch of cards? Yeah, exactly. Am I right? Oh, I, nah, I don't know. get it, man. I don't get people. Nah, people are so picky. Uh, people, just some people. I are. also hate. Okay, so you know, um, uh, pepperoni, salamis, and all that good stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, you you know what shaved means, right? For deli meats, shaved. Uh, no. That's, like, the thinnest you can go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the thinnest, like, th uh, cut you can do with the deli meat. If he asked me to do two pounds of salami or pepperoni shaved, I hate, I hate you. You're the worst person. Because, you know, you know how long it takes to, like, shave, to, like, shave cut a, uh, a pepperoni or salami slice? A long time. You know what? I'm just gonna go with it. Yeah. Like, your shop right and do that at some <laughs> point. I'm just gonna say shave. <laughs> Shaved yeah, pepperoni. Yeah. I'll, I'll say ten pounds of pepperoni shaved. I'm just gonna take my break right there. <laughs> if, if, I, if, nope, if I see you coming, nope. I'm just, I'm taking my break. <laughs> I, I would no. I would never at, do something. At, at like least it's that. paid. I would never do something like that. Yeah. Someone else would. Someone else would. There's gonna be a time where someone is gonna order ten pounds of. You know what? Shaved I'm just salami. gonna I'm just gonna tell everyone in our group chat. Go to a shop right, Please order not. two pounds of salami shaved. If you do, I'm taking my break. <laughs> but you all of a sudden just see me, Donovan Aiden, Jake, or John Marcus just walk in, and we all order <laughs> the exact same thing. That's it, I quit. I'm fine. <laughs> I quit. Uh, uh, I don't go to your job until, until you to code all this. Right? <laughs> oh, well. Uh... Yeah, we have fun here at this podcast. We always have fun at the Double J Talk Show. Um, oh yeah, did you hear that now masks are no longer required, but they're still required in New Jersey? So the federal government's not requiring it, but New Jersey's requiring them. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with it. I mean, I, I actually like wearing masks. I've gotten used to it at this point. Yeah, because... Um, take, take it or leave it. Because uh, I don't have to show my face. Sometimes bit of like inside comes here's the thing inside and stuff i'm totally fine with it yeah but like when i if you're outside and it's like 90 100 degrees out and you have to be wearing like a very yeah. heavy cloth mask and it's all sweaty and stuff and you're breathing in your own sweat that's when i'm not okay with it yeah exactly but other, other than that i I'm, mean i'm fine i'm fine with wearing it it's just it's not a big it. deal We're, as long as you're calm yeah you'll be able to breathe and don't worry people we are not breaking any social distancing laws. I'm vaccinated. He's vaccinated. We had the temperature check. We also here. had the temperature check thing. Although so. we probably just got demonetized because this looks like a gun. No, we, this is a temperature screening <laughs> thing. There we go. Doesn't, doesn't matter. It looks like a gun. We got demonetized. Oh, it's not a gun. Well, it is a temperature gun. <laughs> it's called. <laughs> well, there you go. Now you're, now you're now we're double demonetized. Now you, you shot yourself. You're de demonetized. Double. <laughs> we're not double whammy. Anymore. Yeah, we're gonna have to start paying YouTube money. Oh man, <laughs> you gotta start paying all the legal fees. No, there's no, no. YouTube never makes you pay legal fees. I mean, unless you sue them. No. What? What? What if one day, actually, I pondered this question. What if one day creators got charged to upload to YouTube, just like a site called, like Vimeo? They they would go out of business YouTube, right away. YouTube would go out of business. They would go out of business right away. So, I mean, some, who else? But here's the question: Who else would put the site together? Yeah, only the biggest YouTubers possible. Yeah, only the biggest YouTubers in there would still be there. Yeah. Because I think at that point, YouTube would be like, all right, we need you guys, so. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, they would quickly lose a lot of people. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube is a place for creators, and I don't think they should charge for it. Yeah, I mean they're starting. They're starting to already lose people by uh, changing all the ad, the ad rules about monetizing, and because they have to make it advertiser friendly and censor like a lot of like words that are not advertiser friendly. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube is definitely changing. We try to keep a little friendly here. We're all friendly here, so, yeah. you know. But, yeah, that's basically what's happening. Yeah, we... It's the start of the summer. The summer season has begun. It's we... starting to be light at 8 p.m. I know, I I'm very excited for I that. I like that. So I, can, I can actually go in the hot tub and stuff and, like, relax. Hot and tub. That. Hot tubs are fun. Did you know that hot tub streamers are now becoming more popular on Twitch right now? Hey, you want to do a hot tub stream? Stay tuned. <laughs> Maybe we will. Maybe we no. won't. Who knows? You got to stay tuned to know. Yeah, exactly. Maybe we'll maybe we'll explore. It's the summer. Maybe we'll go explore. Maybe we'll do an episode on the yeah. road. Well, I know we're going to do an episode. Road trip. We're doing road an trip. episode in, a, in the middle of the woods. Yeah. That's already coming. But there will be more episodes on, of us on the road. Maybe we'll do a food review. Maybe we'll go in a hot tub somewhere. Maybe we'll, Soda review. Soda review. Maybe we'll... I don't know. Maybe we'll just run around neighborhoods and just start screaming in an episode. <laughs> And just start screaming, ASC. Yeah, maybe we'll just, yeah. you know, maybe we'll just drive around like lunatics for an hour. Yeah. You know, the summer has endless possibilities, and we hope to have endless episodes. Well, And so endless consequences. <laughs> <laughs> we hope to have some very good episodes coming your way this summer, so stay tuned to us on the Double J Talk Show. We're going to bring you some very good episodes. I think with that, it's plug time. What do you think, Jacob? Yes, and I get to bob my head. All right. So, you can follow us on... I'm not, actually, look, you faked me out, man. <laughs> I know. I was ready for it. I did that on purpose. <laughs> okay. You can follow us on Anchor, Spotify, Breaker, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, uh, CastBox, Overcast, Audible, Amazon Podcasts, uh, Listen Notes, uh, iHeartRadio, et cetera, et cetera. Subscribe and like our videos on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram at the Double J Talk Show. Follow us on Twitter at Double J Talk Show. And like us on Facebook, the Double J Talk Show. If you have any suggestions or comments or anything that you want to tell us, you can DM us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or send us an email to Double J Podcast at Outlook.com. We'll probably listen to it. And we'll probably listen to your suggestions. So we are open to suggestions with episodes. So if you have one, we'd like to hear it. We're hoping to have some more guests too. So that, that, hopefully that, that's coming too. That's something called foreshadowing. Yeah. Okay. Foreshadowing. We'll very, we'll make the English teachers very happy. Exactly. My English teacher is looking at me right now. and she's saying, I'm very proud. <laughs> but what does this uh, Dr. Pepper can represent? Life. Uh, life, because it's, it's your my life, life it's my lifeblood. Your lifeblood, exactly. All right. Well, I if think I, if I were to donate blood, it'd probably go to the vending machine, <laughs> <laughs> the Dr Pepper factory. No, no, it would go to the soda machine. Exactly. <laughs> it'd be up, it'd exactly. Be McDonald's. Drinks. Here's the thing, guys. McDonald's gets their soda from Jacob. They just hook up. They just IV. hook up an IV to him, yeah. and then when you order a soda, he's hooked up in the back That's of the me. machine. That's my lifeblood. You know, when you're pushing the plunger, it just pumps it to, through from his blood yeah. to your, to your uh, wonderful fountain drink. Exactly. So you're drinking. So you're drinking Jacob. It's like oxygen. Exactly. Me. All right. Well, this has all been right, yeah. fun. We will. It's see nice you to be all, back. Nice to be back, and we will see you all next time.